We are helping guide you through first of its kind elections across Hampton Roads. We say first of its kind because in cities like Chesapeake, city council and school board candidates have never been on the ballot in November. So 10 on your side's Brett Hall is following the funds and seeing the difference the time of year makes. Katie and Bianca, good morning. It really makes a difference in that the campaigns can be more expensive, but possibly also more divisive. We looked at the two candidates that campaign finance disclosures say have raised the most in a crowded field of 13 people looking to fill five city council seats. This is our city's first November election, and they are already shaping up to look exactly like national elections. That's all part of a Facebook post made by Chesapeake Mayor Rick West earlier this week. An ODU political professor, Dr. Ben Molesky, says that statement by itself shouldn't be surprising. Many of these people that will be coming out to vote will not be focused on municipal races. They will just happen to be on the ballot. They'll be focused on their congressional races. And like many congressional races, Mayor West Post goes on to say, it appears more efforts are placed on smear tactics and character assassination. While he doesn't name specifics, he confirms he's referring to recent events surrounding candidate Amanda Newins. Newins has raised more than anyone else endorsed by the Chesapeake Republican Party this year, upwards of $50,000. Several weeks ago, a lawsuit was filed by her great aunt accusing her of elder abuse. Days later, several council members and constitutional officers came out and said they would no longer support her. In her own Facebook post, Newins shot back, saying those individuals never did support her. Instead, she shared a list of her supporters Many of those could be found in her campaign finance report as donors, too. When looking for where those who pooled their support have donated, they weren't found in Nguyen's war chest. Rather, they were found in the account of the race's top fundraiser, current councilwoman Susan Vitale. You have not said anything about that. Why is that? I'm focusing on my campaign. I want to run a positive campaign. I have a great message. She says any accusations that she has influenced the statements would be wrong. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No, that is that is not the way I operate. Worth noting that we did reach out to Amanda Newins to uh, do an interview as well for this story. She could not meet with us by deadline, but did send along a statement thanking all of her donors. You may ask, why is there this controversy? Aren't they both Republicans? Well, we'll have more on that tonight on Waving News 10 at 530. Brett Hall, 10 on your side.